Something happened in baseball that has never happened before in the Angels-Rangers game from last week, and this one is brought to you by DraftKings. Joe Madden is a manager that does weird shit. That is a man who caught a foul ball and instantly gave it to a girl or just a woman behind him, an instant friend, high five, baseball. That's what it's all about. Now the Angels are going to get in some trouble, but not on this play because that's a nice play by Squid up the middle for the out. But then the 2-0 pitch goes down the line into the corner. Is that going to be a double? No, it's played really well by the caveman and holds him to a single. So now there's a runner on first for the Rangers. But the next batter, we got strike one on probably a ball. Strike two on a foul ball. Oh, no. Hit him right in the elbow pad. Did not hurt him, but hit him. Pabing. Bing, classic sound effect noise. So they go talk to the pitcher, and they're like, hey, don't be afraid. Just come at this guy. So he does. He comes at him with a double over the left fielder's head. That's going to score one run and put another runner on second. Angels still in trouble, not their inning. That's a little flare into right field. And the manager says, hey, catch, go talk to him. Now, I didn't slow this down. Or edit this at all. This is live time. The catcher goes to talk to the pitcher. If you're new to baseball, it's just a strategy to give the warm-up, the new pitcher that's coming in more time to warm up. So the catcher usually says some nonsense. This time the catcher isn't even talking. And Joe Madden is just waiting, and they're just waiting. And no one's saying anything. And Joe Madden's whistling to himself and nodding, and they're just waiting. Usually you wait for the umpire to break this up, and then you go make your pitching change, just buying time goes on for a long time. They're just standing on the mound, and the catcher usually talks to the pitcher somewhat, but they're all just standing around quiet. Finally, he looks at Joe like, dude, are you going to come get me out of this game, or what are you doing right here? He's like, what's going on? And Joe Madden's like, okay, I guess the ump isn't going to tell me that I have to uh, ump. Are you going to like tell me I got to make a change? He says, okay, I'll come out and make the change. Man, baseball's a slow sport sometimes. That was literally just a stall tactic, and it was so long. So they take this pitcher out of the game, and they bring in a new pitcher, and he says, hey, good job, man. You did great. See you later. New pitcher comes in. His name is Austin Warren. Zero earned runs so far this season, and that's a ball. The next pitch is a ball even worse, a ball again, and a ball even worse. Four pitch Walk, and now the bases are loaded, and there's a lefty coming up in Corey Seager. Joe Madden goes to the mound to talk to his pitcher, and he has confirmed that while he was out here, he said, hey, we're going to intentionally walk this guy so you can get the next two guys. He doesn't really have a reaction to that information. They're going to tell the catcher, and he's going to say, I think Joe Madden at one point here says, like, blah, 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 blah. He says, okay, you're right. And then the next two guys, and then those are your guys. Like, walk them, and then those next two are your guys. The numbers don't support this, and Joe Madden admitted this as well. The numbers don't support this righty and a lefty. Usually that means he's going to crush them, but Seager's actually better against lefties this year, and they walk them, and they're down, and Mike Trout's face is like, what? wait, what? Huh? The fuck? Huh? What? What the fuck? And if you're, a lot of people watch breakdowns that don't watch baseball. You're like, what? What what do you what does this all mean? He intentionally walked the batter. You don't have to throw the pitches anymore. And that spins a run around because the bases were loaded. They were already losing three to two. Now this runner scores and it becomes four to two. Now, this has happened in Major League Baseball before, but usually it's when the team is up a couple runs and there's a huge threat at the plate, like Barry Bonds, and they don't want him to get multiple. RBIs and score multiple runs. So, like, we'll just let this dude get one run and move on. No one's ever done it this early in a game and at this score when they're losing. And you can see the runners are so confused. Simeon on first is like, where am I going? He's like, yeah, get moving, dude. You guys scored a run. The pitcher, after it happens, it looks like now he looks into the dugout and he's like, you motherfucker, Madden. That's a bad look for me. I didn't realize how bad this was going to look. And then Madden is sitting there. I think he says, I shouldn't have talked to him. I think, I think that's what I shouldn't have talked to him. That's kind of what I see right there. Another coach is like, yeah, well, you did. And he's like, uh, yeah, but maybe, I don't know. That's what I read. I don't know if that's correct. I do that. Seeger is over at first base, and he's like, he knew the bases were full? Says, something, 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 let me work a walk. 
Like, let me work a walk if you're going to walk me. Make me earn it. Or just intentionally walk me. Madden said that this wasn't a numbers move. It was an emotional move. The emotions of the game determined it. Makes no sense. Madden just likes being talked about for being a weirdo and doing new and unique things. So he did a new and unique thing. And it backfires immediately because the next batter puts one rule almost to the track and that scores a run. So now you've scored two runs. If your fear was that the batter hits a single and two runs score, well, now that happened. And if your batter was that he hits a double and all three runs score, well, that's about to happen next. And you'll never guess how. So he's starting to, you know, squirm a little bit. And now the pitcher box and the umpire calls and the other umpire calls it. So the runner on third goes home. So now all three runners have scored. And it's a complete backfire. This is the balk. He moves his arm. You can't do that unless you do it like every single time while you're on the rubber. So Madden's going to have a lot of problems with this. He goes to the umpire and he's getting mad at him. And he's like, did you have to call it? And he's like, I have to. I have to. I have to. Joe, I need to call a balk. You did not have to call a balk right there. It was to deceive the runner. Was it to deceive the runner? Does it deceive the runner? Was it to deceive the runner? I'm just asking you a question. Was it to deceive the runner? But was it to deceive the runner? That's my question. And the umpire starts giving him an answer and Joe doesn't like it. He says, no, that's not the question. No, I'm asking you, was it to deceive the runner? The um says, yeah, could it deceive the runner? You thought that was to deceive the runner right there? Yeah, sure, it could have been. Come on, John, you're better than that. You're better than that, John. You're better than that, John. So Madden said all of two sentences that entire time, and maybe he's wound a little tight because of something else, because, I mean, that's just a balk by the book. And then the next batter does get out, pops out, to the infield, and that ends the inning, but all the runs that were on base when Corey Seager was up score in the pitcher, I think it sunk in like, what the hell was all that about? And Joe Madden turns to his assistant coach, and he said, well, uh, doesn't matter now. I screwed up. Now a lot of people are saying, well, they won the game. Shohei hits a home run, and the Angels win the game, so it didn't backfire. And it's like even Joe Madden admitted that this backfired, and there was no reason to do it, and you kind of just – Embarrass your pitcher because you have no confidence in him. And Joe Madden just wants to be Joe Madden. And he is. So you can't fault him for that. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring this breakdown. Appreciate them as always.